In this video, we'll take you through the setup of your new Venue 2 Plus smartwatch and introduce you to some features you're going to love. First, download the Garmin Connect app to your compatible smartphone. Turn on the watch by holding the top button until you see the startup animation. When the watch powers on, choose your language and then, when prompted, open the Garmin Connect app and follow the instructions on your phone screen to set up your account and watch. If you already have a Garmin Connect account, open the app and tap the More icon. Select Garmin Devices, then Add Device at the bottom. The app will automatically search for and connect to your Venue 2 Plus. Then, you can follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. During this process, you'll be able to set up your goals and more. Once you're done with the initial setup, you can tailor your experience by customizing Glance and App Lists, setting up Garmin Pay, setting up music, and more. Now let's talk about using your smartwatch. To wake up the display, you can either double tap the touch screen, press a button, or lift your wrist and rotate it towards your body. When the watch face is displayed, you can swipe up or down to scroll through glances that show your activity stats for the day, health data, calendar, and more. You can change these glances or add more right on the watch. Press and hold the bottom button to bring up the main menu. Here you can change your watch face, open your alarms, stopwatch, and timer, and access watch settings. From settings, you can customize your glances, customize your apps and activities list, turn on battery saver mode, and more. This is also where you'll configure health and fitness features such as setting abnormal heart rate alerts or turning on pulse ox. From any screen, press and hold the top button for two seconds to view the controls menu where you can access quick functions such as music, find my phone, and Garmin Pay, as well as see your remaining battery. Press the bottom button or simply swipe from left to right to go back to the previous screen. From the watch face, you can also press the middle button to set up a shortcut. Holding the middle button will activate your smartphone's voice assistant, which you can use to initiate a phone call and respond to text messages when connected to your smartphone. If you like, you can also assign a different control to the button hold instead of the shortcut to activate your voice assistant. To learn more about using the voice features on your Venue 2 Plus, be sure to watch the other videos in this series. Next, we'll walk through how to start an activity. You can customize the available activities in the Garmin Connect app or on your watch. First, press the top button to access the apps and activities list. Tap individual activities to select them. Then, press the top button to add them to your favorites list. To edit and add more activities, press and hold the bottom button, then select Manage Apps. Tap an activity to reorder it, remove it, or add it to favorites. Swipe through the options and select the activity you want to start. If the activity requires GPS, go outside and wait until a signal is acquired. Press the top button again to start the activity timer and begin recording data. Depending on the activity, you can use the bottom button for different functions such as marking a lap or moving on to the next set. While you work out, swipe left to right to return to your watch face and view glances. Simply press the bottom button to get back to the activity screen. When you're finished, press the top button to stop the timer. You'll see a recap of your activity data and have the option to resume your activity. You can also choose to either save the activity or discard it. 
Once saved, the activity will be synced to the Garmin Connect app for you to view in detail. Now let's take a look at how you can add music to your watch for phone-free listening wherever you go. Start by setting up Wi-Fi. While in range of your Wi-Fi network, open the Garmin Connect app and select the More icon. Tap Garmin Devices and select your device. Then select General, Wi-Fi Networks, and add a network. Then just select an available network and enter the login details. To connect to a third-party provider, hold the top button to bring up the controls menu. Tap on the music icon, then tap IQ. Select your preferred music provider and then follow the instructions to sync your music. If your favorite music provider isn't among those pre-installed, download the Connect IQ Store app to your smartphone and use the app to see if your preferred option is available. If it is, download the app to your Venue 2 Plus. Bring up the controls menu again and select the music icon, followed by IQ, and then your favorite music provider to finish setting up the app and syncing music from the music provider you chose. You can also download content from your own digital music collection to your watch. Start by installing the Garmin Express application on your computer. Then connect your watch to the computer using the included USB cable. Open Garmin Express. If this is your first time connecting to Garmin Express, choose Add a Device. Garmin Express will find the watch connected to your computer. Follow the on-screen instructions. When done, select your device, then select Music to begin transferring the songs and albums you want. Then all that's left to do is pair your headphones. Just bring the headphones within range of your device and enable pairing mode. On your watch, hold down the bottom button. Scroll down and select the settings icon, followed by music, headphones, and add new. Then touch the check mark. Select your headphones to complete the pairing process. Now you're ready to get out there and get moving. But before you do, here's an important tip for the wear and care of your Venue 2 Plus. When washing off sweat or cleaning your smartwatch, take care not to use sharp objects to clean the unit and resist the urge to use anything even a soft bristled toothbrush to clean the nooks and crannies on the device. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.